We've been expecting you, Mr. Anderson. Hey, only kidding. It's me, Alex, Mr. Alex Tech, and we're going to have a look at this cool Matrix effect in this one. Hang a minute, though. Let me come back to the real world. Oh, oh, that's better. Yes, we're going to take a look at this Matrix effect. I'm going to show you the real basic version, which takes literally seconds to get up and running. Then we're going to jazz it up a bit, make it look a little bit cooler. Then I'm going to show you how to merge it with text and videos and do loads of cool stuff with it. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are on the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we need to do, open up the effects library, expand the toolbox, come down to effects, and we need to grab a fusion composition, just drop it on our timeline, and I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. Then all we need to do, give it a click, right click, and then open in the fusion page. Once fusion opens like so, make sure that you've got your nodes down here just by clicking on this little nodes button up in the top left hand corner. And then we need to open up the effects library once again. We're gonna expand templates, fusion, and then we're gonna hop into the particles folder. Within here, we're looking for one simply called matrix. Ignore the fact that I've got two of each, don't know what's going on there. So I'm gonna grab the matrix and I'm gonna drop it down into my nodes area here, like so. Then all we need to do is connect this little square on the matrix to the little triangle of the media out. And then in your preview window, if we hit play, we've got this simple, basic matrix effect. Now, if we give matrix a click, open up the inspector, top right hand corner, double click on matrix if it's closed to open up the settings, and you've got density and depth. So density, if I increase that, will essentially just give us more lines of code, increasing the density of the effect. And the depth will increase the sort of 3D-ness. So if you have a look here, we've got some text which is really small and looks far away, and other that's quite big and looks much closer to the screen. If we increase the depth, we'll get more that are closer and more that are further away, increasing that overall 3D look. Then if we just jump into the Edit tab, and you can see we've got this really cool looking matrix effect. Now this background looks black, it's actually transparent. So I'm just gonna move my fusion composition up and then I can get any sort of video I like, drop it underneath. And now we've got the matrix effect running over this video. You can do this with videos, photos, whatever. It's a nice way of just dropping that effect on there. If you want to just make it look a little bit better, there's a few tips which I think are worth doing. So let me show you now. The first one, you've got to download a font for. So rather than using a standard font, I've found a specific matrix symbol font, which I think really, really makes it look much, much better. I've linked it down in the description below. It's completely free, so you can go and download it, install it on your system, close DaVinci Resolve, open it back up, and then you can make these changes. So let's get back into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what you need to do. So we're back in Resolve after installing our font. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click on my Fusion Composition once again. We're gonna open in the Fusion page. So now we've got our matrix and our media out. If we double click on the matrix, it will expand that like so. And then the one you want is this little text one over on the left. So you can ignore all of these for now. Just hop over to the one that says text, give it a click. In the inspector, double click on text to open that up. And then within here, you've got your font. So it's by default, it's set to open sans. You've got to click the little drop down. I'm going to scroll up, find my matrix code, and then it will change from having normal alphabet to these matrix style symbols, which looks much cooler. Now you'll notice you've still got some capital letters and that's because this font doesn't have capitals only has lowercase but that's easy enough to get rid of as well at the top here underneath inspector you've got modifiers give that a click and then in this substitute characters these are all the characters which are going to be used within your effect so what we need to do is delete this top row of all these capital letters give that a second to re-render itself and there we go now we've just got symbols and numbers which i think works really well Another quick tip for you here, you've got this randomness. Sometimes you may notice this sort of duplicate code. So I can see here I've got an eight and then this little smiley face logo. I've also got an eight and a little smiley face logo over there. So it is duplicating the code. If I just increase this to something crazy like 50, that would just mean that it's much more random and we're much less likely to have any duplicate codes. So that's the code, that looks really cool. My next little tip, on this little matrix title here, right click, and collapse group just to make it small again. And then we're gonna add a glow effect because it just looks really, really cool. So within the effects library, just expand tools, click on blur, and then you wanna grab this one here called glow and just drop that on your little line like so. 
and it just adds that glow effect, which again makes it look a little bit more like the original Matrix effect. With all that done, let's just hop into the Edit tab. We'll hit play. And there it is, which I think looks really, really cool. Now for this last one, what I'm gonna do is show you how to blend that matrix effect with titles and videos like I did at the intro of this video. So let's hop into Resolve one last time and take a look. Now the first thing you want to do, give that Fusion Composition a click, open up the Inspector, come down to the Composite and then the Composite Mode and just change that from Normal to Foreground. Then we just need to grab something to put underneath. So I'm gonna show you titles first. So I'm gonna open up my effects library, go to titles, I'm just gonna grab a text, put that underneath like so, open up the inspector. I'm not gonna to do too much just for this demonstration. We'll increase the size a little bit. Then what we're gonna do with the text selected in the inspector, go to the settings tab at the top, same place as before, composite, change it from normal to alpha. And then what happened is you'll get this matrix effect just appearing within the title which can make for a really funky little title screen, as you can see here. Now, because this black area is again transparent, I can move all of that up, put some other footage underneath, and we've got this really cool looking matrix style title. Now, if you prefer your text to have a solid background, not like this transparent background that I've got here, that's really easy to do as well. On the Fusion Composition, right click and open in the Fusion page. On this little toolbar here, on the far left, you should have one called background. Just drop that on this little line here like so. Your preview window will probably go black, don't worry. All you need to do if that is the case, on your merge, right click and then swap the inputs. And then you'll be able to see your matrix code with this black background. If I click on the actual background node, I can change the color of it to be whatever I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna leave it as black. So now if I hop back into the edit tab, and we've got our matrix style text with the black background. And if we hit play, it looks a little something like that. Now, if we want to blend this matrix effect with a video instead, very, very similar process. I'm gonna grab this video here and we'll put this underneath. Give that video a click, same thing, inspector, composite, but this time you wanna change this to be lum or luminance. And what that means is the bright areas of the video will show up the matrix effect the most. So you can see this bit on the right is a little bit dark, so the matrix text is dark, and this bit here where the, where the lady is, is a little bit brighter. And then if we just hit play, we've got this really cool looking effect. Now because we're using luminance, it's based on the brightness of the original footage. So one quick tip that I recommend you do, if it's not pulling through quite as much as you like, so in my demonstration here, I can just about see this lady's face, but it's not massively obvious. Just hop into the color tab. So I'm gonna give it a click, go to color. Make sure I've got my video selected rather than the matrix. Click on this icon here to open up your color wheels. And we're just gonna increase this contrast quite a bit. And as you can see now, the face will start to become a little bit clearer because the brights will become brighter and the shadows will become darker. And then if we just jump back into the edit tab, we've got this effect where we can really clearly now see the face with the matrix effect and it looks really really cool right tank i could do with an exit please mate i'll catch you guys later